Hello, hello. Hey, what's up? Hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, our regular time. It's 1 p.m. Eastern time. Let me tell you this, like I got got myself together. I thought it was 11. And it's <laughs> so, so it's because of me you are here today, right? That's right. That's right. Hola. Hello, Brooke. Hello, Rina. Hi, Prince Charming Mom 20. Okay. Is, is that okay, me? I want to know. I want to know what's 2930. Well, I'm guessing her son is Prince Charming. But I thought my hello. son was Prince Charming. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi, Sally. Manhattan. Had two pretty hectic days. Yes. Cooking therapy. Hello, Lisa. California. Marisol. Lynn. Hi, Camille. Cynthia. How is Michigan? How is the weather in Michigan? I always... Hey, Lynn. I'm curious because I spent some time in Michigan a long time ago. Happy birthday to your sons. Make him make them some cookies. <laughs> hey, Brianna. Hello, Louisiana. Everybody. Hello, Louisiana. I'm sorry, Angie. I'm saying hello, Louisiana. Hello to so, Louisiana. So, so, guys, Pan lied to you. She's she's about to confess. <laughs> I'm not a I'm, I'm I'm a terrible liar. I can I cannot lie. You know, my grandma used to say lie has is there it's the same, right? Lie has short short legs. And I cannot lie. Honestly, I cannot lie. I'm a terrible liar. And what did you do? So I I you mean in terms of the, the season that we are doing? Yeah. Well I, I really I was going to do Christmas. I swear I was, but I'm doing fall. Because I just you see Brianna, yeah. you see? <laughs> we have Christmas yet, not. <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. Maybe um, next week. I promise. <laughs> December twentieth for sure. <laughs> for sure, yes. Well, it's coming up. I mean, we. I don't know. I've never done so many fall cookies and Halloween cookies that I can remember. Um, oh, Birmingham, some, Alabama. Some years we are, I guess, inspired more by different seasons. So I guess for me this year it's. Maybe you're in withdrawal. Maybe. Oh, that's true. Maybe. Maybe I miss pumpkins and leaves and all that. Yes. I think I do. Oh, right. I do. So do you want me to go ahead and start? And yes, yes, yes. Do you want me to set you up? Here? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. So there is my hand. Let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit. All right. So those of you who watched our live from a couple weeks ago. So I used a snowman cutter to make this lovely scarecrow for um, fall. And using the same cutter, today I'm gonna do some pumpkins, stacked pumpkins. So can I just mention that live stream for the other one that she just showed is still available. So if you guys wanna watch that, you can uh, you know, just go in the live playlist and you'll find the older video yeah. you can do that all right so this is super simple guys uh, nothing to be you know you don't have to think about this design too much i created um here we go so i'm going to do the pumpkins using um kind of when when i'll show you really soon but the first pumpkin oh did i freeze um i'm oh, seeing you yeah, I'm, okay so I used the four different colors to create the, the pumpkin design on the bottom. And these are all, um, these both have some orange base. This is, I don't know if you can see, it's orange, but I muted it down with ivory because I didn't want it to be super bright. And this is more brown and orange, okay? And this is yellow muted down with a little bit of ivory, and this is just brown. And all of these are about, I would say, 15 second consistency. So. Let's start with the bottom. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little dip here on on the top and then um, continue on a, you know on the way to the bottom. Oh, oh that's onion. your gingerbread cookie recipe, little right? Pork there, yes, that's the gingerbread recipe, and this is a recipe that is really really good um, um, for that de for decorated cookies as well as non decorated if you want to just eat some lovely gingerbread cookies, you can use this recipe and it's actually 
on my blog, honeyalas.com. So you guys can check it out. So now I'm going to swirl the icing. Well, guys, don't hesitate to ask your questions. We're, it's our pleasure to answer. If you have any, just pop it in. And now I'm going to create segments using my, um, this is the light um, it's brown with a little bit of orange. And now instead of a scribe, I decided to use a, I don't know if you guys see that as well. I decided to use a paintbrush. And why did you decide that? It just flows so nicely, I have to say. It has a nice flow to it. So now I'm going to use the darker brown here. And I feel like it's faster, obviously, because it has a really, like, the tip of the brush is wide. So are you saying, like, it's, it helps you, like, kind of blend more? Yes. Okay. So you're kind of painting, if you will, with yes. the wet icing. And now I'm using the yellow. Like I said, you don't have to think about it too much. Kind of like watercolor. Yes. Oops. So I'm going to be doing three different pumpkins, okay? Okay, I'm going to wipe this in a paper towel. Oh, there's a little boo-boo here. And I'm going to do the top one because we want to avoid piping next to the, the freshly piped one. It's going to blend together. So I'm going to do the top one. And the top one I will do with white. Hey, Jeremy. And um, we're going to do some shading with, um, um, with some gray. You just have to determine which one of my icing is flat because I for this one. So I'm guessing congratulations are in order for Jeremy. You found a job. You're saying you're taking off work. Ooh, that's awesome. Congratulations. Hey Bonnie, Esther. Brianna is doing animal print jungle theme cookies. They are very fun. Animal print is so so fun. All right, so now I'm going to do the top one. Hold on. I oh, we forgive you, Jeremy. I'm confusing myself. Okay, let me see what I did here. Okay. <laughs> I've got my prototype in front of me, so I don't forget. He's gainfully. That means you can uh, stock up on your wood gear and your cookie gear. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. So this is just white icing here. Oops. Did you add any, did you add any white to it? Looks very bright. I did not. No, I did not. I did not add any white. I'm just going to do segments. And again, I'm going to use the brush. And this is a really good brush to have. This is from a set, a built-in set of five brushes. If you don't have any brushes whatsoever, it's a good starter set to get. Okay. Now I'm going to take darker gray. And darker gray, I'm just placing it on a couple of these lines here. Big, um, hello, Trisha. Big things happening in Texas this weekend. I think it's Cookie Con in, uh, is it Dallas they're doing it? I think so, yes. In Dallas. Hello, hey all from Texas. Hey, Trisha. All right, so then you have to let this uh, obviously cross, okay? So now um, i lucky for you, very lucky for you. I've got one that is pretty crusted here. So I'm going to do the middle part. And the middle part I decided to do with... Um, with, um, oh, I thought I lost it, with blue. 
And again, I used, uh, I'll show you, I'll, I used, um, these are three different blues. I don't know if you guys can see, light blue, medium, and dark. And this one already started separating, you can see. And I used a royal. It's annoying, you just made it. Yes, I just made it. Yes, I love that, right? She's wearing this awesome apron. I haven't, I uh, haven't, I had a pair of overalls when I was young, but I don't have any overalls now. I had a pyjama like that. It's quite uh, uncomfortable, I have to say. I don't know. Like, I felt like it was, yeah. Do you guys wear overalls? Why so blue? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's Tuesday. Tuesday blues, I guess. <laughs> I think he's making reference to your color choice. I don't know. Have you gotten any pumpkins, guys? Or is it still too early? It shouldn't be early. It's already October. Oh, they're at the grocery store. I was there Have yesterday. You any? I bought spaghetti squash and I bought um, like squash, but I didn't buy pumpkin. I don't really, uh, I don't do pumpkin uh, so big and I hate gutting it and just like lazy. A lot of work. Oh, you mean to carve it? Yes. Oh, I only carve pumpkin once. I will have to, I have to confess. I have oh, to say. you lost your candy corn marshmallow. I would presume that's what she's meaning. Your candy corn tutorial. Cynthia said it was very Thank good. Thank you, Cynthia. Yes, I should make those. Those are really fun. Mandala cookies. Oh, beautiful. So this is the darkest of the blue. I find a brush, it's very, if you ever like, just want to decorate cookies and you're not like pressed by time and you just want to have like a little relaxing time. I find it very like therapeutic, I have to say, like it's just so soothing. And what you can do, you can use the residue that is on the brush and you can place it somewhere else, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, so then you have to let it thrust again. Lucky for you. Oh, I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do the stem on the top. So on the top one, I'm gonna do the stem. Oh, this is the wrong piping back. Okay, so we, I'm gonna use slightly thicker icing for this. Not a whole lot, but a little thicker. Are you seeing the message I'm seeing, Mark? Um, about the Facebook? Oh, yeah. How about that, guys? How did you survive yesterday? Whew. It was a tough day, huh? With the, no Instagram, no Facebook. Did you lose any, any connection? So I'm going to let this crust. I'm going to move this aside. And I've got one crusted here. I actually have a couple crusted. So I'm going to start working on these. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add the stems. Yeah, it disconnected for me on Facebook. You can reconnect? No, it just dropped it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do some branches. I'm going to go on your page and share.
I thought I saw a deep and um, views. I, I guess it's because you got disconnected. Yeah, I don't know. And then I want to see the, the head at the very top, so I'm going to try to kind of hide it. Oh, it wasn't nearly long enough. Oh, Jeremy. Okay, so I'm gonna hide it with uh, with um, the branch, and then we'll add a flower to it as well on the other side, so we can kind of. I'm gonna add some flowers and things like that. And leaves. Okay, so now I'm going to take some and let's see which one. Okay, and I'm just going to put lots of white dots. So you want to like, no. oops, what's that sound? So I'm gonna let it crust and then I'll do another layer. So while it's, that's happening, it's gonna take maybe a minute or so. Yeah, I'm gonna add more dots on the, on the top. I'm back. Sorry, I was putzing around with the yes the link, so I shared it on my page. For whatever reason, my live stream dropped on my page. All right, so now I'm going to, I don't know if you guys remember a couple, of, I guess months ago, I made um, some flowers um, from royal icing, okay? Now you can find the live stream in my playlist. And I'm going to hopefully soon share a full tutorial on how to make these, okay? So while that's still crusting, I'm going to attach, let's see. Everybody's loving it, Han. So these, thank you. So these, um, I'm gonna add more of my dots there, but um, these flowers can be made ahead of time, okay? So you can make them, uh, like I said, I made them months ago. Maybe, I think it's June, but I will have it, I'm gonna try to put the tutorial up soon. But um, in the meantime, if you know how to basically make these and you're just looking for a template, I do have a template um in my coffee shop for the sunflowers and if you don't have a cutter or stack pumpkins this is a snowman cutter if you haven't noticed and now to hide this section here you can add more branches or whatever you would like even different uh, variety of flowers would be nice. I'm just going to stick with the sunflowers and add another sunflower here at the top. And then I'll add a smaller one here on, on the side here. 
kind of balance it out. So here, because you can see there is a bit of a dip here, because there is a, um, this is cookie and icing, so the icing is a bit elevated. So I'm going to pipe onto the cookie. Okay. Maybe with a little more icing I should have added. All right. So now I have some green icing that I prepared, and this is a thicker consistency, and I've got a leaf tip going on here. So what I did, I cut a V shape on my piping bag. Okay, you can see it's a V shape. So you want to always cut it. You want to cut it um, with a seam. This is a seam. You want, it, you want to cut it with the seam on the side, cut a V shape, okay? And then when piping the leaves, you want to turn it this way so you have the seam in the middle. Okay, so you can pipe the leaves. And that's basically how you do the, the petals on the sunflower as well. It's basically a leaf tip. Okay, let me bring the cookie back into the frame. So now I'm going to add the leaves underneath here, or if you can help it. Okay, I'm gonna turn this one upside down like so. I don't like that it's, uh, I'm gonna do this. It's a bit stiffer icing, so it's going to help hold it up a bit more. And now from this side, I'm going to add a leaf. And then we can actually go here. Another leaf. And now let's finish it with the third sunflower in the middle. And also, guys, I have a class coming up October 23rd. It's a beginner class, Halloween class, lots of fun designs. It's available. Um, you can sign up through Global Belly. And uh, you can find the link through my Instagram in my bio. Okay. So now I'm going to add a couple leaves on the middle sunflower. What day is the class, man? It's Saturday. This Saturday? No, it's 23rd of October. Oh. 23rd of October, yeah. All right, so let's do um, the leaves over here. Okay. Awesome, beautiful. So I know my lighting is a little off today. It's, it's been for uh, many, many lives. Well, it looks and, great. Um, These would be awesome with, if you have an actual pumpkin cutter, right? Just single pumpkins with that. So you could pair, you could even just, I mean, this is a fun thing to do, right? Use yeah, a, snow, a snowman cutter to, um, um, snowman cutter to create different designs. I think this was somebody suggested stack pumpkin, so I went with it and I saw like an image with like watercolors and things like that. So I thought it was quite simple doing everything wet on wet segments and all. So mm -hmm. you see, it didn't really take that long. I mean, mm -hmm. once you get it all down. Um, so that's that's actually from me. So hopefully next Tuesday I will have something Christmas. Did you mix your own uh, brown? Oh, brown? Yes. Well, the thing is with brown, if if you can find a food coloring straight from a bottle that you really, really like, I also have done brown, uh, red and green, and that way you are really able to control by adding more or less red and green, you are able to control um, um, the, the hues, yes. I do use chocolate brown, from memory color brand um but like i said you can then uh, some of the browns they have like a reddish um tone 
So then you have to... has one, it's called espresso. And that one is actually... Espresso. So that would be, I think, very good. Yeah. Yes. But if you don't have a variety of browns, then yes, you can always, you know, experiment with adding... Um, you can just look up the color wheel also. It helps. So well, Chef Master actually has... If you go on the Chef Master site, they actually have a mixing guide. So if you oh, yeah. go around their site, you'll find they show, like, how many dots. Yeah like drops and stuff to yes. get colors. And also, uh, Georgiane Milaloa, Laila Loa, Georgiane has had extensive uh, um, tutor tutorial data database on her blog. And also she has a um, book that is dedicated just to color mixing. So this is for me. I'm turning the wheel or turning the wheel, whatever, turning yeah. the something to my darling, my friend. Oh, where is your... I didn't put it in yet, but very nice, Han. Thanks. Turn it on. So before I start, I'm just going to show my um, my project that I just loaded in my group. So if you guys have been watching the lives, you've maybe seen a few of my gift boxes. So I made a Christmas one. I'm not working on Christmas today, but I made a Christmas one. So this is in the group, and here it is. So it's Christmas morning. Woohoo! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this is how Santa will get in. Are these going to be for Santa? Are you going to leave them out for Santa? Well, I could have, instead of putting the stockings, I could have had like feet sticking out in here in the fire. I haven't noticed the fire when you first show, showed me the... Show, show, show it to me. Uh, it's really, really cool. So that's it. So that's in the in the group. So let me just move that out of the way. So the other thing I, I have to, I thought we'd kind of do, we always have issues or people talk about consistency. So I'm just going to pour my icing on this cookie sheet and we'll just look at it and, you know, have a, a better, just easier to visualize. I think I'm trying to, it's a tough one to show you guys in video uh, consistency. You know, that's like the, wouldn't you say that's one of the top questions and issues that audi our oh, audience? Consistency, that's like that, that's it never it, it honestly sometimes you would think that it gets old, but it never gets old because I like I don't know about you, but me also I will sometimes make something thinner, thinking, oh it's fine, like because I've done it so many times and like, oh what did I do? It's too runny. At least I can tell when it's too runny because if if you've done it so many times, you you know, you exactly. know it's too runny or it's too thick. But we also struggle or bubbles. It's like a constant issue with bubbles because um, you know mixing will add the air and you know more you mix, more bubbles you can have. And with dipping, all there is a it's a nuisance, right? With dipping. Yes. So let's just look at it. Um, so. The thing you want is icing that heals. We've heard, I don't know if you've heard yes. that term. So heal is that your the, the surface is smoothing over. This is obviously caused by gravity. It's, you know, so it's pulling it down. So if your icing is thick, well, it stays in a mound. But if you've got it runny enough, it's able to heal. Now, if you're doing dual consistency, which means like you're able to outline and flood with the same icing, you need it a little bit more, like have a little bit more body. But you can see here, the icing is not like water. It's not just pooling away. Like when I blob it up here, you can see it's holding the blob. <laughs> the technical holding the blob. But it's if like small baking sheet you had mentioned before that it that it holds like a nice amount of cookies, it's neat. Yes. Well, it's just for the videos, I find it's good. So here you can see I've got my icing, and if I shake it, you see it's like spreading and leveling so it's just you want an icing that's going to be able to do that but if your icing is too runny well control obviously you can't control the direction of water if you pour it it's going to go in the direction of the least resistance and you're going to get a very flat decoration on your cookies you're not going to have like a little bit of a rot like rise in your icing it becomes like varnish on the surface of the icing so I would say that this is maybe a little thick for dipping. So I'm just adding a bit of water. Now, normally I don't mix my icing on a cookie sheet. No, you don't? No, but <laughs> I just thought that this was kind of the way to show you it's guys. a good way to demonstrate. Yes, yeah, you see you see it um, very clearly. I love that little spatula you have. 
Yes, that was a, a gift from uh, Miri of Shafik's Cookies. She brought them to me from Mexico. I think some people have them listed on Etsy there. It's a, like a firmer plastic than some of the stuff I've seen available. And I like the sharp edges on it. All right, so now it's again blobbed up. That's the technical term I'm going with. But when I shake it, you can see it's leveling. So I'm getting the bubbles there. But And so when you're doing the dipping, some people like to put pure food color on a toothpick. I'm nah about that technique because sometimes you'll end up with like juicy, um, gelatiny. I, I, gel do, I do that all the time because like some of the food color, I have some Viltan that I like. So I use it with Viltan because it has no... Bubble, so you, you have to kind of get it out somehow. Um, yeah. Another way is they sell these little spoons, miniature, like, um, they're not miniature, but they are they are miniature spoons for like uh, appetizers or whatever. So I have those. So I'm just adding so some now, now. This is like so therapeutic to watch the color being made. What do you guys see? I see, I see E. What else do I see? <laughs> I see a sled with a head. <laughs> so I was going for fall colors. And so I'm just kind of putting the icing, whatever on there. And now I'm going to take my cookie. Now dipping, if you're maybe depending your dexterity, some people maybe have dexterity issues or whatever, like to hold the cookie. So if you're working on a dish that's shallow, like this cookie sheet or on a plate, just you know, the cookie is not going to go any deeper. The icing is only like a centimeter deep. So you're not going to have to worry about that. And you can actually see better. I can actually visualize. Now I can see the edge. So if I had like a bowl, I wouldn't really be able to see if I've got like a fuse of all like the edges here. And I can just kind of tap it. And now I'm going to be able to lift it off. And sometimes you do get your fingers in, oh, my cookie cracked. I just felt the point of my, my maple leaf there just. And so now you can kind of either shake it to get it to smooth. And here my icing is kind of like dripping off. So you can use the needle. Yeah. Kind of like. That's pretty normal with, with dipping folks that icing can kind of but look how beautifully how beautifully it covers the cookie and here i've got here let me just wipe this so i've got an air bubble and you can see here it just gives the cut like the color gets very uh blended and it looks very um i want to say also kind of watercolor ish right it's beautiful I like that you added brown. It's not everybody's choice to add brown because I think it's such a, it can be a. Well, it's kind of topish. Okay, so topish. Topish. But you know what I mean. Yeah. And you can like have them close to you. And as the icing settles, I've got icing everywhere. As the icing settles, if you see any um, air bubbles appear, you can kind of give them a little, a little um, poke. Here, let me just move that over here. And each cookie is going to be different. And if, let's say one you don't like so much brown, or you don't add it, you know, as much on the next one, you can just do two colors. You don't have to do a ton of colors. Like I like just green and green, you know, like shades of green. So if you go to like the color wheel and you start like mixing red in there and stuff, it can get a little muddy. Like yellow is is one of the colors to make green and brown is also kind of in the family so it kind of all blends but i wouldn't do purple in there or red i think it might look a little weird you know i'm thinking like i've never never really like i've done pouring icing on my gingerbread houses i did that like when i had a big piece i poured like really thin icing on it but i wonder I could dip it like this, you know? No doubt. I mean, because the only reason is like, I'm like, even though the pieces are very sturdy, like, is it gonna, because you know, when you're trying to lift it up, there is a lot of pressure. Yeah, it does like resist. And that's what I'm talking about, like for the dexterity issue. Like if you, you know, you have trouble gripping, depending, you know, 
Some people have arthritis or different, you know, issues with their hands. Yes, Jeremy, I agree. I think when, uh, when we all start, we don't really like get bothered by bubbles and small things like that because we are just so happy that we covered the cookie and not the whole table. But then when, when you do it more, you see all the, right, all the kind of flaws yeah. that we, I mean, before we didn't see them as flaws. So pretty. This one is really beautiful. And when you agitate, it helps the icing kind of self like smooth over. You can see, and this could work with almost any kind of set. If you're looking for filler cookies for your more kind of fancy, well, you can do this and, you know, fill in your more decorated cookies. Let me just pull out a cookie. I'm dirtying my apron. I guess that's the point, but. You don't dirty your apron? I have like 15 aprons. Every day I have a new one because I'm like, it's filthy. Like, I mean, like filthy for my, like, I'm, I will, even now I'm wearing an apron because I'm such a um, messy. So some people like to swirl. I just leave it because um, when you lift it off, it does like the swirling I find for you. And I'm just like really barely pushing down just so that like the corners tend to be a little bit more up. So that's all I'm trying to get like coverage. And there is resistance as you pull, it's kind of sucked down. And yes. so, and then you want to flip it kind of quick so that the points that were hanging kind of can, um, you know, land on the, on the surface there. Might be a little bit thick as I look at it there. This is a forgiving technique. Now, if you wanted to spice it up, or well, not spice it up, glam it up, um, you could at this point also use uh, like uh, gold luster dust mixed with alcohol and just like um, splatter it to give it right. Oh, yeah, there's glamour so it or even add some other things to it. But you really, I mean, I love marble dip cookies, they're beautiful. Well, you could do the thing you did there with the brown and then the little oh, white. Yeah, that's true. You could then you could then continue adding maybe a few details. I love that you use green, I have to say, because most of the time, like I would uh, go for different colors, but I like that bright, bright green. And Diana agrees with me. She also likes your green com combination. I think that um, the cookies that have, like sometimes, you know, there's a ton of um, colors but sometimes just keeping it simple is also uh, just as effective from a design. Now, do you ever do this? Like I, because sometimes I can't decide whether I like something or not. So I feel like looking, for, like when you take a picture of something, you look at it as a picture, you view it, it's the weirdest thing. You view it differently as if you are looking at it with your eyes. So I do that a lot. I will take a picture and I look at the picture that, um, that happens when I'm I get ready and I think I look okay. Then I see a picture of myself. I can't believe I went out in public looking like that. See, I, that ever happened? <laughs> I did not mean that, but okay. I guess I will take a picture every time I leave the house now myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I don't have anything between my teeth. Okay, we can go. Okay. <laughs> there. This one I like. Here, I have to wipe my my uh, scribe thing or my boo boo yeah, stick. It, it gets little. I mean, the technique does get a little messy. Yeah, have a um, like um, a dish towel with water, like damp, you yeah. know, close to you. But I think once you get the the technique down, and you can. Oh, Kim, Kim did the the dipping for ornament. The colors I picked didn't didn't match very well together. Yeah, sometimes that can happen. I mean, it's not, you know, it's well, not you uncommon. Struggle, you struggle with colors, like light versions of the same color, like go lighter to darker, you know, yes, light absolutely. blue. Like ombre, do ombre. Thank yeah. you, Lindsay. And here you can see, I like this one. It's beautiful. I love it. They're like, all... honestly, sometimes, like, I agree with you because sometimes it's just the same color and you make, like, let's say three, but of the same color. 
yeah, well, it's but different different hues, and it just makes it uh, really really beautiful. The marble usually I draw on mixing colors icing first, then dump in as you did. So how thick is the icing? Oh, it's um, it's it's on you know it's still probably a good. 20, uh, 15 seconds, I'd say, because it's not flow. I don't, I find that when it's too runny, it's like the dance, right? So if it's too runny, it just literally slides right off the cookie. You can't control it. It'll just like, you know, slide off. So at least if you have a little bit of body, it will kind of stay on, you know, without falling off the edge. And if you shake it, well, it helps to get it to smooth. Now, if I mix the, the icing on the tray to show you a bit the consistency, um, it'll just mix all my colors and so. And let's say you have a hole, well, you can pick up a little scoop of it and just kind of dab it on and yeah. then. To patch it up. It. Yeah, you can do a little, a little touch up, a little spackling and fix your area you see it didn't even show and then it like you know I, I was missing icing in that little spot the boo boo stick is great for that it has like that little shovel on it you see the little shovel this is a sweet sugar bell tool yeah i have a yellow one the other thing you can do with the gold uh luster dust is you can paint on some oh your boo boo stick you can paint on some veins in gold that would be pretty yes absolutely i think it would be pretty that would be really pretty i have only one cookie left that's okay that's fantastic i mean i could still i mean if we want to fill the hour i can i can do another um so i was gonna say sunflower uh, snowman or pumpkin or whatever you want to call it no it's not thicker than 20 seconds cynthia it's not Yes, me too, me too, Venetian Angel. Yes. Uh, I love dipping because every cookie doesn't look the same. Absolutely. They're all so unique. Kind of like snowflakes. Snowflakes yes. would be another one. You do, dip, you do your dip base in all shades of blue, and then you pipe on top with the white. You know what I mean? Yes, that would be pretty. Although, I don't know, like, the snowflakes would be, I think, trouble to picking them up because they have so many uh, arms. So instead, maybe you can do round yeah. and then pipe the snowflake on the top. Or, or a star maybe would be easier. I don't know. But there's don't some know. snowflakes. I, I agree with what you're saying, but some snowflakes. That, that is true. That is true. Aren't I'm, as reading, I'm already reading your mind. <laughs> I was, uh, if I could reach my snowflake stash, I would. I know what you mean. There are some that are like starish, but snowflakeish, and they are not, they don't have the thin arms. Yes. Yes. So there. This one also I like. Yeah, beautiful. I also love the green. I never thought that I would like the, the green is not my choice of color always, like to flood, you know, it's for the leaves and, and stems and details like like on the cookie, but not the the flooding, but it's beautiful. Let me bring I think with gold it would look absolutely fantastic. This gold and green, it's very like um let me bring my thing over. Gold, I think like. Dipping was made for me. I can still pipe a straight. I still, I guess you meant cannot pipe a straight line. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. There we go. So you can see here. I mean, it has a very fall. Like you could do more orangish and whatever. Yeah, but I, I like this. You could do orange afterwards. You could do this and then add details. Now guys, we're gonna have few more few more minutes so we can do a quick Q and A. So if you have a question. <laughs> But this is the beginning of fall. You know when the leaves aren't full change? Oh, that's true. This is the that's beginning. True. Beginning of the fall. So it, it, are the leaves falling now or is it still, are they still hanging Oh, on? yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, fall is in full swing this morning. It was only uh, 12 degrees. So it was, it was cool, yes. It's cool? Yes. So that's it, guys. So you after you dip them, you leave them dry like you would normally. So I, like if you're, bagging them up overnight and you can pipe veins you can paint on veins you can leave them just like that 
I mean, this is a fast way to make decorated cookies for people that don't know how to decorate cookies and don't know, like they, they see this as decorated, right? Everybody is loving it. It's beautiful, beautiful colors. They couldn't agree more. It's a technique that, that can work for literally like Valentine's Day, make hearts in different shades of pink and red. Christmas, you could do filler, I mean, ornaments, the snowflakes, like I said. Oh, it'd be fun even for balloons for a birthday. Oh, yeah. You know, like you make like a marble of each color. That would be pretty. No, one time I've done it without coloring the icing. Instead of icing, I used um, food color mixed with uh, alcohol. I used that and I put like... But I find icing probably works better. I mean, it was just a completely different look. It's completely different look. It was more watercolor-ish. But I With like the, the food gel, when I've seen it, like sometimes I've seen it, and they have so much on the toothpick, and then they're putting it in, and then I'm like, oh. oh no, no, that, yo, no. I, I mean, like it was, I had it diluted in the liquid. Yes, yes, I, I am. Like, then I used the dropper. I put drops in, but it, um, I mean, it worked. I, I was just lazy coloring the icing. That's all. Well, we don't tell anybody we're lazy, and they don't. They don't have to know. Like when you bring your cookies, and if maybe you did, you cut corners, and you just be quiet. Take all the compliments. You don't. They don't need to know, right? It still works. It's still a lot of work. Exactly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a lot of work. So it's not like yeah, it's a lot of work. Exactly. And on Friday, guys, we are uh, again, we will be live. If this is your first time watching us, we'll be live on Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll be joined by our lovely friend, Amber of Sweet Ems. And I don't know who, who is decorating who. I'm going to try the Christmas. I, I am going to try. You can come see live and see for yourself if I do it or not. So it's it's you and and Amber on Friday. I'm okay. off for Friday. You're off? Oh, lucky you. I was off last week. It was fantastic. All right, guys. That's true, Kim. After you've rolled the cookies, baked the cookies, made the icing, if you do a little bit of a simpler decorating technique, it's not it's not easy. Okay, so let me just bring up bring up these these uh, cookies. So uh, if you are just joining us, I made uh, these stacked pumpkins. Can you guys guess what cutter I used? I guess it's pretty visible. It's a snowman cutter. Is it is it too too too, too obvious? It's a snowman cutter, or is it like? No, I. Think, you know it's um, it was a very successful flip. Right, the head is kind of like a giveaway, right? But. Um, yeah, but you I mean, put, you can always trim the head. Like if, if you're really, really like, yeah, I need, you know, you can trim it. But I wanted to like see if it could be done just with the shape as it is. It looks, it looks very nice. Thanks. Not everybody wants a thousand cookie cutter collection. Okay. Let's <laughs> do this. Because <laughs> my background is not very nice today. I didn't really clean up much. <laughs> well, we I, it's in, I have so much stuff. Anyway, guys, so thanks for tuning in. Yes, thanks, and we'll see you on Friday. If you're just joining us, you can watch the replay. So okay, bye-bye. Bye.